What's happening, Boomer Rizzles? It is I, King Boomer. Welcome back to the channel. It's good to see you guys. Um, pulling up off of my uh, suggestion list, I want to do another Harry and Paul one. You guys put a lot of Harry and Paul suggestions on the um, suggestion list on the live stream that I did. So why not do another one? Let's check it out. Okay, uh, this is Nelson Mandela. Um, I hope it's the right one. It says Nelson Mandela adverts, a series of adverts from Harry and Paul that feature Nelson Mandela. So, I know who Nelson Mandela is. I'm not too familiar with his uh, history, so apologies to any South Africans that are offended by that. But... You can make fun of anybody. So, let's get into it. This, uh, I'm sure there's going to be some good uh, makeup artistry in this video with the uh, Harry and Paul skits. Those are always top notch. And I think so far my favorite Harry and Paul one was that first uh, American Taurus. Actually, somebody said there's more American Taurus sketches that they did. So, maybe I'll take a look and see if I can find more after this one. But for now, this is Nelson Mandela from Harry and Paul. Let's check it out. Good evening. I'm Nelson Mandela. Oh my God. I'm the former president of South Africa. And this are alcohol pops. <laughs> alcohol pops are a mixture of a fizzy drink and alcohol. The purpose of all these drinks is to encourage young people to believe that being drunk can be very, very attractive. <laughs> well, now that on this, Nelson Mandela's Alpha Bobs. Oh my god! Now, this is, I don't know when this was made, but like anytime you have a white person portraying a black person and you uh, have to like, you know, brown their skin up a little bit. It, especially here in the United States, it's very frowned upon, and you can get a lot of trouble if you did that. But um, from what I've seen from all the Harry and Paul stuff and Harry Anfield stuff, where he had other projects, he doesn't give a fuck. So <laughs> this is uh, this is very interesting to say the least already. But let's continue. I haven't replaced most of the physical with a greater quantity of alcohol. Oh my God, gin! So it is now possible for young people to get assholed very, very quickly. Nelson Mandela's alcohol. It is the quick way to get kids wanked. <laughs> get kids wanked. Oh my God, this is this is some wild shit right here. Oh. All of the, like, this is making me think so much of uh, Robert Downey Jr. in uh, <clears throat> Tropic Thunder right now. Um, he actually didn't get a lot of heat for that. He got some heat, but not a lot, because Robert Downey Jr. in that movie was fucking hilarious. I'm an Essen Mandela. Are you disillusioned with mass-produced beer? <laughs> now it is time for you to try Nelson Mandela's organic... Fighting bear. That's why not you want to fight. It contains no preservatives. It contains no additives. That is a just 100% organic fighting bear. Do you want some? <laughs> World bear. Oh my god, this is fucking wild. These, uh... <laughs> Why is, is it all beer? Uh, alcohol adverts? What is going on here? Good evening. I'm Nelson Mandela. Do you like to dance to house music all night long? <laughs> and do you like to remain immune to fatigue during the early hours of the morning? This is now possible with the help of my ecstasy tablets. <laughs> You can purchase oh, my ecstasy tablets on the World Wide Web <laughs> by visiting MandelaPartyAnimal.co.sf Nelson Mandela's ecstasy tablets. 
Let us get mounted. Oh my god. <laughs> that one looked like uh, the, the colors, it looked like he was trying to advertise Pepto Bismol or some shit. This is some wild stuff. A very good evening. I'm Nelson Mandela, and I'm very excited about the new narcotic drug I have managed to produce. I've called it Crackabus. <laughs> With Crackabus, it is possible to experience the extreme high of crack cocaine and the soporific effects of a high quality cannabis. Oh so you can go completely mental. I do not recommend Crackers. that you drive on it. Looks like a brick turd. You're my dealer. Oh my god. Good evening. I'm Nelson Mandela. These days, it is extremely difficult to nick things from shops without attracting the attention of security guards. <laughs> this slow turns, man. That is where I have invented this. The Nelson Mandela thieving coat. <laughs> I have a put inside special pockets into which you can slip the leather. He's got his shoes in there, man. And sports leisure wear. As well as bulky electrical items like DVD players. Just look at the cut of my coat. It is difficult to believe that I have just cleaned out Dixon's and JJP Sports. <laughs> Nelson Mandela's thieving coat. It is the leisurely way to go shoplifting. <laughs> to go shoplifting. <laughs> oh my god. I'm a Nelson Mandela. Do you have a guilty seat? <laughs> Obviously he did the, these last three in the same uh, the same production because he's got that goofy ass fucking orange shirt on. Do you fantasize about a romantic encounter with an old woman? It has been possible for me to procure some old women from Eastern Europe, and I can offer them to you for an afternoon of rumpy pumpy. <laughs> rumpy pumpy. Oh shit. This is some wild stuff, man. They will also clean your house. You can visit Nelson's Naughty Granny's dot com. A very good evening. I'm a nurse of my tailor. Do you like smack? <laughs> Do you like crack? Then you will love my smack and crack party bag. Oh, <laughs> smack and crack party Get bag. Get packed with smack and plenty of crack. You can steal your friend's car stereo to pay for it. Or you could rob your mother off her jewelry. Nelson Mandela's smack and crack a party bag. That is my ultimate shortcut to friendless oblivion. Holy shit, dude. Wow. <clears throat> wow, that was... Wow, highly... strange and entertaining. Oh, there's got to be some people out there who found that very offensive. Probably in South Africa. I don't know. But this is... Wait a minute. Oh, I'm looking at another thing right now. But that was some wild shit, man. Maybe... <laughs> These Harry and Paul skits are so fucking good. I want to know if, uh, this is my question. I want to know if this got him in trouble at all. I'm sure a bunch of things got him in trouble by the looks of some of the things I've seen from, uh, Harry Enfield. But this one in particular seems like it'd be the one that would get him in a, a good amount of trouble. But let me know in the comments. If you've got more Harry and Paul suggestions, throw them in the comments also. I love this Harry and Paul stuff, man. It's, it's really killing me every time. But anyway, like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. I'm King Boomer, and I'll put up more videos soon. Um, if you got any other suggestions, put them in the comments, too. I got to reset for a few minutes after that one.
<laughs> that was some wild shit. All right, guys, peace out. Have a good day.